What's going on guys? I'm Jody. This is Inspire Woodcraft. Today I want to explain to you why the hook on the end of your tape measure actually wiggles. Now in my last video I showed you guys how to get a precise fit piece for the inside of let's say a box without measuring at all. But I did use a tape measure as an example in the beginning of that and I had a few people reach out in the comments and say well why does the tape work this way or why does the hook move and stuff and so I thought it'd be a really good time to explain why that happens. Now on a tape measure, what you have is this hook that wiggles back and forth. And this is so that you can take outside and inside measurements. And in theory, the hook itself should only travel in and out the exact same distance as what the thickness of the hook is. And the easiest way to figure this out is to take a scrap piece like this. I guess it doesn't have to be scrap hook your tape to the end of it. And in this case, I'm just going to make a mark at six inches. Then I'm actually going to take either a block of wood like this, or for me, I'm just gonna butt it right up here against the end of my fence. I just want something to butt the tape up against. As you slide the tape up there, your mark should come in at the same measurement. So again, hooked six inches against something else like an inside measurement six inches. Now there's a lot of things that can actually alter how this works. And that is like an inexpensive or cheap tape measure, depending on your verbiage, or one that's a little bit more robust and is a little bit more well built. The other thing is, is that over time, as your tape goes in and out and you hook it on things over and over and over again, the end of the tape will actually get stretched a little bit. Also the rivets that hold the hook to the tape itself will start to wear the metal out and it'll get stretched over time. That's why I always recommend not letting your tape slam back in all the time. Now you might've noticed on this one, there's a little bounce to it. That's because there's actually a shock absorber right here and that helps take away some of the bounce. But if you have one that doesn't have that little deal on there, that little shock absorber, it's gonna slam into this. It's also gonna bend the hook over time too, depending on, of course, what you're doing. And so this hook will become bent and then you're gonna get an inaccurate reading either way. So hopefully that actually cleared that up. It's actually a really simple reason as to why that hook moved. But like I said, there can be some variance, especially if you have an older tape it's always good to check your tapes against each other. And of course, always use one tape for a whole job. That way, if there's any inconsistencies, the inconsistencies are consistent throughout. I hope that made sense. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next video.